All right, so now we have created the Firebase project on the Firebase console. We called it to-do list. Great. We do want to add this and integrate it with our iOS application, with our Flutter iOS application, and then we will move on forward with integrating with Flutter Android application. So let's go ahead and click on the iOS right over here. Okay, so the first thing in order to add Firebase to our iOS application, it is asking is the bundle identifier. All right, so let's go back to our Flutter. And what I'm going to do is right over here, you can see that I have my iOS folder open. Let's go ahead and click on it and say reveal in Finder. Let's go to iOS folder. Now make sure, obviously make sure that you have Xcode installed. You need Xcode so that you can open up the iOS application and it will install all the simulators and everything. So I already have Xcode, Xcode installed. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this runner.workspace file. And this is going to open it up in Xcode. So I'm using Xcode 12. Make sure that you have Xcode 12 or above. Okay. So it opens it up and it looks kind of like this. This is in Xcode. I'm going to open up Runner. You can see all the files associated with Xcode. Let's go ahead and click on the actual project file, which is right on the top. And this is the bundle identifier that you need right over here. So let's go ahead and copy this bundle identifier. I'll copy it. I'll go back and I'll paste it right here, exactly as it is. So make sure that you copy paste it instead of typing it out, because if you type out, you can make mistakes. So make sure that you copy paste it. Now for Xcode, you can just keep it open. We will have to come back to Xcode later on. So right now we're just gonna keep it open. That's perfectly fine. All right, let's go back and register the app. So we are registering the app and it's going to give us a file. It was gonna ask you to, hey, you need to download this configuration file. And in the screenshot that they're showing you, they're basically saying that, hey, once you download this file, make sure to drag and drop this file into your Xcode project. So the first step for us is to download this file. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and I'm gonna download this file. So it's downloading, great. And I'm going to try to see if I can actually go ahead and go to my screen. There we go. And hopefully it's going to open. Okay, I thought it's going to open it. So let me go ahead and cancel that. Let's open it first. There we go. This is where we want to put the file, right here somewhere in the runner project. So again, I'm going to go over here, grab the file, go back to my Xcode and now I can paste it. There we go. Make sure it is called Google service hyphen info. No seven, no nothing. There we go. So we fixed it. The reason it was called seven is that because I have some other files with the same name. So make sure that you copy that and it is called Google service hyphen info.plist. After doing that, we can actually simply close Xcode. Great, we don't really need Xcode at this point. It's done. This project, this part is actually completed. Now let's go next. Now if you want to do, this is basically showing you that how you can add uh, Firebase and Firestore and all those things if you were building an iOS application, but we're not really building an iOS application per se, we're building a Flutter application. So in order to install the Firebase and Firestore packages, we will have to go back to our Flutter application. So I'm back in my Flutter application. And inside my Flutter application, I would have to download some packages. Now those packages will allow me to install Firebase core framework and also the Firebase Cloud Firestore framework. How do I and where do I get those frameworks? Well, let's go back 
and there's a website is called pub.dev and pub.dev is basically a website where you can search for different packages all right so the packages that we are looking for is firebase core so i'm just going to say firebase underscore core and here's the package firebase core so in order to work with firebase you have to install firebase core let's go to the installation And basically it is saying that inside your pubspec.yaml file, which is in your Flutter project, go ahead and add a dependency on Firebase core. So once again, we're just gonna copy this. Don't start typing it out, just copy this. Go back to your Flutter project and you will find right over here, there is a pubspec.yaml file. Let's open this up. And in this file, you will find a dependencies section right here. And we can go ahead and add a dependency, a new dependency on Firebase core. Now the core framework basically is, uh, is required and it is allow you to work with Firebase. So that's one of the dependencies we need. Now, one of the things you will realize about uh, Visual Studio Code is that as soon as I save this file, I'm saving it, it start downloading dependency right on the right top uh, bottom right hand corner you can actually see that it has downloaded the dependency all right so that's the firebase core dependency that we needed so that is already downloaded so that's great the other dependency that we need is on the cloud firestore because that is where we will be saving the data so we need a dependency on cloud firestore package once again, I'm gonna go back to the pub dev and I'm gonna use the search icon over there on the top and search for cloud underscore fire store, all right? And there is a package called cloud fire store, which is used to work with fire store database in Firebase. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And once again, go to installation and copy this dependency. It's, it's always a good idea to copy these dependencies instead of writing it out or typing it out, because when you type out, probably you're going to make a mistake. I'm gonna go ahead and add that dependency over here. And once again, if I save it, it's going to download Cloud Firestore. If it's not downloading all of these dependencies when you save it, then you can always run the command, which is flutter, pub get which is going to download the dependencies for you manually so simply go to the terminal and run the command which is flutter pub dev and it's going to download the dependencies for me fires the visual studio code is working perfectly fine and it already downloaded these two dependencies when i saved the application so this is great we have our dependencies ready and the other thing that we want to do is we want to initialize the Firebase uh, or Fi and Firestore. So how do we do it and where do we do it? So let's go ahead and take a look at where and how we can go ahead and initialize Firestore. Okay, so we have added our dependency on Firebase Core. We have added our dependency to the Cloud Firestore. Now what we want to do is we want to initialize Firebase for our application. So let's go ahead and where we can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into main.dart file. And I'm gonna go at the very, very top inside the main function. Keep in mind that all of this code for the my app widget and everything will be eventually be gone and we will replace it with our own widget. So don't worry about all of this code for counter application, all right? Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to include the package. I want to import the package for the Firebase core. So I'm gonna go ahead and start importing it. I'm gonna go ahead and say package, which is Firebase core. You can see it is actually telling you Firebase core. And then Firebase core dot dart. So I have imported this package. The next thing that I want to do is I want to perform firebase.initialize app. If you actually go back to over here to the actual documentation 
you will see that they're telling you to do pod install. So instead of that, what we did is we added a package in the YAML file, the pubspec.yaml. If I go ahead and press next, now you can see they're telling you to do Firebase app.configure. Now this all code, they're showing you for the iOS application, but we are writing a Flutter application. So although we have to do same steps, but we have to do it a little bit differently. All right, so let's go back. And we have already imported our Firebase core. That's great. The next thing we need to do is to initialize the Firebase framework for our in app to make it a Firebase app. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say async. And inside over here, before run app, I'm going to go ahead and call firebase.initialize app. All right. Now, one of the things that we have to make sure that the initialize app, before initializing the app, is that the Flutter widget bindings are also initialized. Because if they are not initialized, then, well, the widgets are not going to work. And for that, you can go ahead and call widgets flutter binding dot ensure that they are initialized. So this is a requirement. If you don't do that, then the Firebase dot initialize app is going to blow up and it's going to tell you, hey, I can't do that. Now, keeping in mind that right now, all of the settings, everything that we are doing is for the iOS app. At least, well, we added the package. That's fine. Uh, and we went over there and created an iOS project. You can see add Firebase to a Fire iOS app. Let's go and say next. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and say continue on console. Okay, there we go. You can see over here, there's a new icon. It's saying that you have now added for your iOS app. But obviously we have to run it. So let's go ahead and run it and see, does it even work or not? I mean, we're not really doing anything with Firebase. We're not inserting or retrieving data, but still we would like to run it. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my Android simulator is closed. And now I can say start debugging. And now I can select iOS simulator. So iOS simulator is going to launch and let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and press on debug console. If it fails to launch, then we should be able to see some problems in the debug console. And if it launches and it launches, that's perfectly fine. All right, so we're just waiting for this to launch. Once again, when you're running it for the first time on Android simulator or on iOS simulator, the first time is always gonna take some time. And here we go, well, it didn't even run. We can see right here, in our terminal, lots of errors, and then could not launch or build the application. So basically, in the end, it got failed. And you can see a lot of errors or warnings are being thrown, which might be related to the problem. And what's going on is that it's saying the iPhone application deployment target is set to 8, but the range of supported deployment target is 9 and 14.2. So basically, what's going on is that in Xcode 12, iPhone deployment target is no longer 8, but the Cocoa Pods that are using uh, the Firebase are set to 8. So we need to do something with that. We need to tell it that, hey, Cocoa Pod for Firebase, don't use or don't set iOS version to 8, but go ahead and set to 9 or something else. All right. And that is what we are going to do in the next lecture. We're going to try to fix these problems for iOS. Once we fix these problems, we should be able to run our Flutter app on iOS framework, but we have to fix these problems. So let's go ahead in the next lecture and try to see that if we can and how we'll fix this problem for when we're integrating Flutter with iOS.